The religious teachings of the ancient Persians contained many elements of a philosophic character. Its main feature was dualism, a belief in two first principles, Ormuzd, the source of all good, and Ahriman, the source of all evil. Ormuzd is the infinite light, the supreme wisdom, the creator of all the heavenly bodies, of the souls of men and of all that is good in the world. He was worshipped under the emblem of light or fire, and later times, fire itself became the object of Persian adoration. Ahriman, who was good at first, envied Orzmud and became evil. He created the Devas, or evil spirits, darkness, winter, storms, and all noxious plants and animals. At first the good spirit alone was worshipped. Later the people strove to propitiate Ahriman, and in order to do so they avoided good and promoted evil, making the whole country most miserable. They became even devil worshippers. Then arose Zarathustra, called in Greek Zoroaster, probably about the year 600 BC. He restored the worship of Ormuzd, taught the Persians to till the fields, and opposed Ahriman by the promotion of the arts and the destruction of noxious creatures. As an explanation of his religion, he wrote the sacred book called Zend Avesta. In it he speaks of a mediating divinity, Mithras, an agent of good to mankind, who is expected ultimately to bring back Ahriman to his original goodness. The Persians had preserved many truths of the primitive revelation. For instance, their Avesta says, I am wholly without doubt in the coming of the resurrection in the later body, and an invariable recompense of good deeds and their reward, and of bad deeds and their punishment, as well as in the continuance of paradise. Their nice sense of right and wrong is shown in their form of confession, which partly runs thus. That which was the wish of Ormuzd, the creator, that which I ought to have done and have not done, what I ought to have spoken have not spoken, what I ought to have thought and have not thought, of these sins I repent with thought, words, and works, corporal as well as spiritual, earthly as well as heavenly, and with three words, Lord, I repent of my sin. The story of Ahriman and his devas is evidently a perversion of the fall of the angels, who thenceforth made war on God and caused themselves to be adored by the Gentiles. As David sings, all the gods of the Gentiles are devils. Psalm 95.